Hello there folks, Nathan here, hope you're all well and welcome back to unboxing videos here on my channel where today we've got something new to review, yes indeed. Uh, this is not only a new type of aircraft that we're looking at, uh, but it's also a, a, well not really a new airline but uh, new for this year anyway, it's an airline that was relaunched after sadly entering administration in 2020. I'm talking, of course, of Flybe. This was a regional carrier here in the United Kingdom uh, that just operated a fleet. They had quite a strong fleet before ceasing operations of both Dash 8 Q400 aircraft and mainly um, Embraer regional jets as well. They had the Embraer 175 and a couple of Embraer 195s. Uh, they also used to partnership with other airlines, including Logan Air, and they used to operate uh, the Art ATR 72 and the Saab 340 as well. So they were quite a big airline here in the UK before they sadly entered administration. <laughs> But now, of course, for 2022, they were relaunched this year and they uh, now consist of Dash 8 Q400 aircraft. So this model is of a Dash 8 Q400 and it's in Flybe's current livery. So when I saw this on eBay, I could not pass up the opportunity to buy it. And uh, the only thing with this is this is 1 in 100 scale, so... Um, it's much bigger than any of my other aircraft. It's more or less going to be as big as one of my Skymark models. But, as I said, it's a Flybe, which I've been wanting for years. It's a Dash 8, which I've been, which I've been wanting for years, which I've also travelled on in the past. And it's in Flybe's current livery, so I didn't care. So, it's just arrived, so let's get it unboxed. So let's have a look at the box. So, uh, AeroClick. Oh, AeroClick, so that must be who make it. Uh, Flyby Dash 8 Q400. And the registration is Golf slash Juliet Echo Charlie X Ray. J E C X. Now, that's one I've seen at Birmingham a couple of times actually since Flyby have relaunched. So, it's nice to have a model with a registration representing a real aircraft. Another one that I've seen as well is uh, Jesse, which is J-E-C-Y. Um, that's two that I've seen at Birmingham. And of course, you've got the tail design here. And if I turn it around, you can see it says Flyby there. And then at the top, you've got the top of the tail. Um, and then underneath, this is the side of the box, you've got a lovely picture of the, uh, the livery itself. And I think it's actually very smart. I think the white and the purple really goes nice. Okay, let's flip it around then. There's a little bit of, a little something on the back. Of course, I will read it with my magnifying glass in a moment. And then on the two sides, I believe it says the same. Aeroclix Flyby Bombardier Dash 8 Q400 Golf slash JECX 1 in 100 scale ACX009. I'm not sure whether that's the serial number or the model number. Yep, so it's exactly the same on this side as well. Right, let me have a look with my magnifying glass at this font. For more information, visit our website www.aeroclicksmodels.com or follow us on Facebook www.facebook.com slash aeroclicksmodels. I might actually do that. Uh, copyright 2021 Aeroclicks Models. Uh, won't just, well, I can't read that bit. I don't think that bit's in English. So uh, there we go. 
Now, you will see me in a moment when I get the aircraft out. I do apologise for the terrible mess that my hair is in. Actually, once this video is finished uploading, I'm going to go on the bus and go and get my hair cut today. It's well overdue and it's Christmas next week, so I want, uh, I want my hair done. Now then, I don't believe this is taped. So I'm just going to open one end of the the box and see what we've got. Now I've got to be very careful with this. Right, okay. Now the first thing to come out is the uh, stand arm and also the propellers have just fallen out as well because we have to attach the propellers separately. They're not, uh, they're not mounted like an, the engines would be on a Premier Planes model. So... This just gives you an exact um, an idea. Actually, it's not as big as I thought it would be. It is still much bigger than it should be. Uh, well, that's quite nice, isn't it? This is the uh, the fuselage itself. Uh, it will look a lot better, of course, when uh, it also says flyby underneath. I'll show you that now because obviously once we put the stand arm on. You're not really going to see it. Flyby. Yeah, it's really nice, actually. It is really, really nice. I'm not sure where the registration, the registration is. I thought it would be on the back somewhere. Well, never mind. Let's not dwell on that now, right? Let's... Have a look what else we've got. Okay, this is the uh, the stand base, which is very nice. Flyby Dash 8 Q400 scale 1 in 100. So obviously to assemble this, you can see there's two little holes in there. You allocate the larger, you allocate the hole what you do is you allocate the little place on the bottom of the stand arm into the hole and then once you've got it allocated you push it forward until it clicks in securely. So I like to do this from this point of view and then push it in like that and as you can see that is really secure now that's not going to go anywhere. So that's the stand set up. Uh, so let's let's open very gently open these propellers because we've got to uh, attach these I'm wondering if I could attach them before we actually fit the wings uh, I'm not sure Right, ah, right, so it, it seems that, obviously, that's the front of the propeller. Uh, so let me just, ah, yeah. So, the propellers would obviously go on like that. Okay. So, I might as well do that now. I've never assembled one of these before. Uh, here is the tail. Oh, there's the registration. Look, it's on the tail. Look, G slash J E C X. I forgot about that. I thought it was on the fuselage, but it isn't. It's on the tail. Uh, we could actually assemble the tail now. We could actually assemble the tail now. So I'll take it, it just pushes in. For zooming, yeah. Try and push it down to make sure it's really, really clicked in. Try and line it up as well with this piece on the on the top there. There you go, that's the tail assembled. Okay, now I need to 
I need to open these. Uh, right, so we've got the the larger wings in here, as well as the smaller ones. Okay, that's yeah, that's the way it goes. And then the propellers. Hang on, this one's come off again. Let me just fix that. Uh, so that's the one that goes through there. Oh. Goes through there. And then that pushes in. Like that. Now, oh, they do. They do. Kind of. They do spin. I'm not sure if they're meant to spin. I presume that they are. I mean, they are. They're securely fitted there, and it, they are spinning. So they they do they do sort of spin. So that's one done. Might as well get the other one done while we're while we're here. So same same thing then you just allocate the propeller I'll just show you so this is obviously the engine here this is the engine and obviously the propeller just pushes into that piece there uh, note there's nothing written on the fuel tanks um, unlike the old livery when they used to be all purple it used to say faster than road or rail on that but it doesn't now I'm surprised that uh, they haven't reincorporated that. I thought they would have. Uh... Sorry, I have to do a lot of this off camera because it's a little bit on the f on the uh, tricky side. But that seems to have gone in and again. Oh, that spins. Oh. <sighs> Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, maybe they are meant to spin then. I'll have to have a look at this one. Uh, I've definitely got it the right way round, haven't I? Actually, no, I don't think I have. Now I have. Now I have. That's it. It goes that way. And then just there we go. Give it a push. There we go. That spins a lot more freely. Well, not quite as freely as the other one. But it does it does spin. Because it's new, you know, because it's, it's new, it's, uh... but yeah, it does spin. And then last but not least, um, we can get out the uh, vertical stable, the, yeah, the, no, the horizontal stabilizers, which obviously or the small wings, as I call them, and they basically just click in in that slot on top of the tail. So one like that, and the other one. Oh, it's a bit fiddly, but it's it's there. It's in like that there we go bend that one into shape a little bit it was a little bit droopsy and then we can attach the wings so it's just like any other aircraft there we go 
Now, again, the Dash 8's wings do sort of flex down a little bit when it's on the ground. That's why they look a little bit... A little bit bent. Don't mean that in the uh, incorrect, inappropriate term. And there you go. It's quite a decent size model, in all fairness. Yeah, you can see the, the wings are a little bit drooped. Uh, so what might be worth doing is just sort of... Try to bend them into shape a little bit, but obviously be very, very careful not to snap it. Uh, I wish this tail would snap in a little bit more, but uh, not to worry. But there we go then, there's the aircraft con uh, complete. So what I'll do is, before we have a, a walk around of it, well, a look around of it, I'll put it on its stand. Being very careful, there we go. And there you, there you have it, look at that. There is our Fly B Dash 8. Now it's a little bit wobbly. It's a tiny bit wobbly. What worried about that? But there we are. There is our Dash 8. So there's the front, so we'll go this side first. We'll have a look, so you've got the, the flight deck detailing there. Oh, hang on, sorry, no we're not, we're going the wrong way, sorry. That's the passenger side. I'm going to go this way first. You can see there is a door here on this side. I don't know whether that opens though. Because uh, I thought I always thought the toilet was there that side at the front. Could be wrong. I can't remember because I haven't travelled. I travelled on one in twenty seventeen. It was a long time ago. I went to Belfast City on one. Flyby, beautiful propeller. Does it say on the wing as well? Uh, no, it doesn't actually. Not on this model. It would do. It would do on the real thing. It would have the registration on the wing as well. Now, there she is. J-E-C-X. G slash J-E-C-X. Flyby. Very smart. Um, it's looking at much brighter purple on the uh, thing on the thing as well the uh, on the camera, but it's actually a bit of a deeper purple, looking a little bit like um, a Cadbury's Dairy Milk sort of purple on the camera, uh, but it's not the purple that I'm seeing. Um, really, yeah. Uh, Really give you a, a comparison to what it looks like from the naked eye. But it's still nice though. Now going round to the back of the plane. This is where the APU would be, but it doesn't appear to be modelled. Uh, vertical stabiliser. And horizontal stabilizers. And now we're coming round to the passenger side. And you can see at the back there we have the uh, the cargo hold for your luggage. There is an emergency exit there at the rear. Oh, that's probably what they are. They're probably emergency exits. Well, there would be, wouldn't there? there would be, yeah, emergency exits. But um, you only embark and disembark the aircraft via one, one e entrance, which I'll show you in a moment. 
Uh, here we are again then, coming under the wing. Just give that propeller a spin. I'm hoping it will. This one spins really well. Okay, we're coming up to the front now. And there is the main entry door. Now, there's something special about this. Because um, you're probably thinking, well, how do you get on and off these? Uh, do they hook up to an air bridge? Do they hook up to air stairs? No, they actually have steps built into the the front door here because uh, they're not that high off the ground they're not that high off the ground at all so you, i think there's about there's about four steps i think in the door that you uh, you climb up to get on and off uh which as as i said obviously uh they you know they're built into the front door so what this this door does is it opens outwards like that so you've got the aircraft here and this is the door actually i'll show you so my hand's the door and like it's closed at the moment and then obviously when the door opens it opens out and down like that and the steps are built into it and that's how you get on and off. Obviously, this particular model is not fitted with landing gear. That's a shame. Don't seem to be any uh, landing gear door detailing either on this model. Uh, the rear landing gear actually is concealed away in here. The rear landing gear actually goes up into here, so this is not just the fuel cap, the fuel tanks. Uh, this also is um, the storage for the rear landing gear. And um, it's uh, quite unusual because the rear landing gear is a little bit taller than the nose gear, so actually the aircraft is slightly pointed downwards like that when it's on the ground. You can't tell; it's not a great angle. It's not at a great angle. It's only a very slight angle because uh, the nose wheels are a little bit shorter than the main ones. Again, I'm really trying to push this on to see if it could uh, sit on there a little bit more securely, but it doesn't seem to want to. And these wings, like, I feel that need bending into do you know what i should have done i should have put something heavy on them for a little bit i might do that after the video i might disassemble it and like place a heavy book or something on these wings just to try and give it some weight and hopefully they'll they'll bend into a more oh, realistic shape but there you go that was the unboxing and review of this Flybe Dash 8 Q400. I've really enjoyed doing this one. So, we have reached the end of the video. So it just remains for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, sorry for the hair. Share the channel. Try and get me some more followers. Well, like uh, some more likes, comments, subscribers. And until the next video, whatever, or indeed whenever that may be. Might not be till Benny Dorm now. But I will just take this time to say. Take care. Stay safe. Stay strong, 2022 is nearly over. And as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy. 
And from here in the UK, it's currently 5 to 11. I will bid you good morning.